Crocheters of the world, finally finished my granny version cardigan. It's my granny version cardigan because I work it on my way, <laughs> obvious. And uh, I am very happy about how it looks. It is nice and comfy. Very, very comfy, I might say. Um, now, what I want to say is that you will need exactly the same number of squares that I used, even if you want to alter it in other size, larger sizes or smaller sizes, but you will work more or less um, rounds. Actually, it's about the last double crochet, uh, second to last double crochet round, but I explain everything in the tutorial. So, more or less you have to, um, let's say, grow about one centimeter to alter in one size more, okay? Now, about this, I worked with four millimeters hook, three colors as you can see. The border that I put, I really love it. I really love this stitch. It's a uh, pattern stitch. It's so easy, but it's so beautiful. Okay, now about the yarn that I'm use, obvious I use my uh, from from uh, my shop, so from Magico Gomitolo. It's the Mirage that I highly recommend you. It's a very very lovely yarn, very nice combination, fiber combination. You know that I am a little bit, um, I don't know. I just have this obsession <laughs> for the natural yarns, actually fibers, and I don't like very much acrylic yarn so the less the better <laughs> and here we have I think it's 50 50 yes 50 wool 50 acrylic and I might say it's really nice really uh, soft and it's um, to be worked with four millimeters so four to four point five maybe but with four I think it's just perfect I use two colors of this one and then because I just wanted a purple a, a um, other shade of darker shade of purple I choose the Fiamme wool and the Fiamme wool I really uh, recommend it to you in uh, one of my reviews the yarn reviews but um, I want to say that it's perfect if you work it in uh, put in two strands so how to put it in two strands it's really really easy you will uh, search for the center uh, piece of yarn here beginning and you will take the external one and you will put them together and you have it in two strands so it's really easy I worked with it like this you can buy only the Fiamme wool because it has so beautiful colors so beautiful colors so you can just leave uh, outside the mirage because the mirage is a beautiful yarn but it, it, it doesn't ha have uh, beautiful uh, colors lots lots of beautiful colors because it has beautiful colors but not lots of them okay so not it's not so the variety is not so large but you can choose this one it's really really nice I highly recommend it to you for this project not only for this project obvious now um, Lately, I finally, um, let's say, uh, take my uh, dream come comes true. So I have my own, 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 because Iceans is Magical Gometro is a reseller. It's not actually my own, because you know the, the package uh, come, comes from Turkey, not from me. Um, I finally have my own shop. It's Wana Boutique, <laughs> but um, we don't have, so we don't ship worldwide for now. We try, but we are at the beginning um, and of course uh, we cover Italy and some, some countries. I already have uh, one um, I opened, we opened last week and I already uh, had have one uh, order uh, order from Germany. I'm so glad. So um, Germany, Austria is uh, Belgium, Luxembourg, some some of uh, the Europe states. We uh, Spain, 
we we ship okay but we are trying to find uh, a good price obvious because it's <laughs> this is the idea a good price for other countries at least to cover Europe I don't think we will cover US I'm really sorry but that's it uh, but at least to cover uh, to cover Europe we uh, are uh, working at and we are so happy if you just want to take a look and to write to us some review uh, if you like our yarns, there are all yarns that I um, choose. So, lots and lots of experience and of, I don't know, working with yarns and passion and love for four yarns, I must say. And that's what that this was uh, the thing that um, brings me uh, here to have my own shop and I am very very happy about it now uh, from my shop if you are in one of these country I can highly recommend you the uh, this yarn is Naco Calico it's really beautiful so this is a four season yarn I love four season yarns because it's a four season yarn so you can use it in uh, all seasons uh, from winter to summer um, you can combine two colors so mm, colors with a um, with a um, color changing yarn it's the same yarn only that this is another thing that I like to have colors in one color um, yarns the same yarn in one color and in a different shade so color changing so lovely combination we can do you know that I just adore colors and Mm, here in my shop we can so you can buy one skein it's not one package and this is something I think good um, so you can choose different pick up the colors that you love so uh, premium acrylic and cotton is 50 50 lovely lovely yarn to be used with four millimeters hook let's get started with the pattern it's not difficult you will see I think you will love it if you like to work squares let's get started so in this first part of the cardigan I just want to show you uh, the measures so if you want to work it in a measure or two larger or large extra large even for extra extra large and I want to show you how to put together the squares to create the body so first of all you will need a number of 33 at least 33 squares for the for the body now I said at least 33 because maybe you want it longer and then you will add on now, one square worked with four millimeters hook and the yarn that I uh, gave you uh, is about about because when you sew it is a little bit larger became so it's 15 but will be 15 and a half 16 okay centimeters now for the back side you will see we will need three um, on the upper part and then we will need uh, for the underarm two more and then we will continue on in length with four actually three four five uh, six seven all around okay so you will see uh, into the second part where I will show you how to put them together to create the party. So don't worry. Now, uh, for the measures, I said that this is for the small, medium, and you will need 33. So you can just uh, go ahead and begin to work them. 33 for the, for the small to medium size, exactly as they are, exactly as I shown you into the tutorial of the square. You have the link below. But what if you want them, you want to work a larger uh, size of uh, for the cardigan? So if you want to work a larger size uh, before the last uh, single crochet round, you will work this round. So that's slip knot. Maybe it's easier. Insert hook somewhere in this space here. And 
we will just want to chain two yarn over three times and around the stitch we will work a front post double triple like this okay we have it now skip this one we will skip one before and one after the double triple and then we will work the stitches as they are till the next double triple just work all the stitches and we will have one two three four five and six because as i said before we skip the first and the last the uh, before and after the front post we skip one only into this round we skip this one and we go with seven till the chain three space one two three four five six and seven and into the chain three space we want to work as we did before three double crochets chain three and three more double crochets okay two and three okay and then we go again with seven one two three four five six seven we skip one before one after the triple so one before one after and we go ahead and work our front pose double triple crochet we skip one after and we work six and so on and now you just get the idea i'm sure you've got the idea actually okay this is the first round that we need to add the second the last round is the round of the single crochet and for the round of the single crochet now i won't finish it because i don't need it i'm more actually working on my size which is medium size but i want to show you how to begin this one too into the same stitch the the um triple crochet from post we begin with a chain one yarn over around it around it we will work half double crochet so half double crochet and now this time we don't skip anything at all one two three we go three four five and six and then around the stitch we just want to half double crochet and now we go with nine one nine or ten two let's see three four five five okay six yes they are ten seven eight nine and ten do the chain three into the chain three as we did uh, on the other we work five single crochets and we continue on like this okay so this is the last stitch the last um round that we will put okay and now we gain more than one centimeter so as you can see we gain one and a half centimeter and it's one and a half centimeters here one and a half centimeters here which means there are three centimeters on one square okay now measure it and then multiply it by three and try it on the uh, on your body on the um, shoulder to shoulder if it's okay on shoulder to shoulder because it must be uh, shoulder to shoulder plus about six to eight centimeters okay so if it is like this then you go ahead and work like this if you think you want it smaller you can work the double crochet round like a half double crochet round if you want the extra extra large you can you will put another double crochet or another half double crochet so this is how you will um you will alter the sizes okay 
Now into the second part, because like this, with the second part, you will have an entire uh, image of what you will um, need to do to measure uh, the cardigan to be perfect for you. I will show you actually how to measure and how to put together the squares to actually uh, work the, the body of the cardigan. So because we need to... Um, to um, halves, four actually halves of the um, square. I will show you, I will begin by showing you how to work this because the rest you know. So, for the square, you just know. So, let us begin with the. Of course, I won't show you how to work the stitches now because you know only how to actually obtain half of a square this is the magic loop and into the magic loop we just need to work 10 double crochets i'm working my beginning double crochet you can work a chain of three if you want so it's one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we just draw, um, close the magic loop. We don't join. This is the idea. We don't join. Now, um, turn and into the first again, work a just one double crochet you can again work a chain three plus a chain now from the second we will just work exactly as we work normally into the second round we work the two double crochets crochet clusters like this And we will finish with a double crochet. Into the next, we will change color, obvious, and we will work exactly as for the entire square. We work the groups of three double crochets. Only that we begin and we finish again with one double crochet, and the first double crochet, and the last. Okay, complete that one too and I will be back to show you next. So this is what I have. I have the first double crochet then groups of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, let me show, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, nine. And we will finish, as I said before, with a double crochet into the beginning double crochet cut yarn. Cut yarn because we want to change the color and now we will work you know the chains so I will insert hook again into my first double crochet and I will work a single crochet here and a single crochet in between and then a chain of five and then single crochet chain three and so on a single crochet chain five you know chain three chain five till the end you will finish with a chain five and the two single crochets that we worked here we work them there too so i finished with my chain five and chain three I began with a chain 5, I finished with a chain 5. Now we will work 4 in this chain 5, the first chain 5, and 4 into the last. Then we will work into the next a corner. Here we will work 7, another corner, and we will work our 4 at the end. Let me just show you a little bit where it is, how it, how it looks. It's here. 
so this is okay so this is how it look and we have four a corner seven a corner and four more this is how we have to work so I will begin again with my with my first double crochet and skip directly skip directly into the chain 5 with your 4 double crochets so 4 into the first chain 5 we work 4 and now we go directly into our corner complete this row 2 and I will be back to show you how to continue on so I changed we change again the color and now we go with the this one so insert hook chain one single crochet and we go with four and we know that we have to work the um, front post then three four five and into the corner we go single crochet chain three single crochet we continue on like this one two three four five one oops I'm sorry yes so it's like this and we go like this yes as you already know how to work I'll go ahead we'll finish with a single crochet here then work all around now you know how work all around here you will work four double crochets then five then here three plus three and so on so we need to work 14 then in the middle one and 14 two one two three four five six and we'll just continue on like this till the end so 14 1 and 40 and insert hook into the last and slip stitch to join okay that's it now let's see how to join together all the squares to have our cardigan almost ready because we will need only the border okay now let's see uh, uh how many actually squares we need to work this and not only how many squares but also uh, how to alter the sizes now this is the uh, standard let's say um, square and it's about 15 uh, 15 meters oh uh, yes meters 15 centimeters and uh, if you want it smaller this is a medium size let's say smaller to medium size if you want it um, extra small to small then the last double crochet row you will work maybe a single crochet row or a half double crochet row okay so you will have it uh, smaller but from from my point of view with a half double crochet row and of course the last row of single crochet you will be okay now uh, and the difference is that the last half double cro uh, the last uh, front post uh, triple crochet will be only a double crochet in this case if you want it larger then you will just add one more round not row round of double crochet okay so we just end add for a large uh, large extra large add one more double crochet row maybe for a large you can add one more half double crochet round and for a extra large add exactly a double crochet round for the extra extra large add two more double crochet rounds okay and of course you will work the front post where we have them we already have them okay set up yes these are the measure now how many squares you need you need 33 for a medium length uh, of, a, of the cardigan so as mine let's say and if you want it longer you will just need seven more squares for one uh, one row like this okay seven more squares because there are seven squares on one row so 33 and then seven more if you want to add some uh, one more row or 14 if you want to add 
two more rows then you will just um, you will you will be able to decide by yourself obvious for the sleeves then we will need four halves this is a half and I will actually show you uh, how to work the halves you will need four halves then for the sleeves to finish it here actually as you can see because we have one square uh, let's say on the side of the body one on the uh, one side one on the other side so it's like this okay and this it's here that we need the 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 square the halves uh, half of the square so four halves then for the sleeves I put four and four even here so here it is my sleeve one two three four on the other side obvious uh, even for the sleeve you can put six if you want to uh, sorry eight if you want to no six I said <laughs> the first was good uh, so uh, two four six or eight of course or you can put four and of course you can use the halves even here on the sleeve okay if you want it just just a little bit longer more than mine so these are this is the way you can work it this is the way uh, I um, let's say let's say design it and then of course we will work the border on the front now uh, I sew them not all <laughs> almost all uh, but I, um, I I decided to sew them because for me it was easier I will show you how now we will see how to work the halves and then I will show you how to actually put together them in a um, I will draw actually because it's a graphic with the squares because it's easier to understand for you so I just I wanted to show you a little bit how it looks and uh, as you can see on the uh, sides actually we have one square front side one and one and in, in on the back side we have three the uh, this is why we have seven on one row then actually on at the beginning we have two on the front side one on the side one side one on the other side and on the back side we have three that's why we will need the halves to complete okay so let me show you actually better I will so decide. let's see this is the back side first row one two and three we have to join three together then here we won't join join anything else because we have the um, opening for the slips then on the front side we will have one this is the front side one and one okay and we will join them here okay so here we will join them one and one okay then with the back side we will work like this one more we will add here and this is the one that we fold it will be on the um, side and then we have again three this is like this and here we have this is the same that I put the other half okay so it's it's only a half a half it's here a half it's here but it's one Hope you can understand I will show you mine and then we will have our three on the back side and the half half on the other side okay uh, sorry we have only two here so one two three four five six seven for the first row only for the first row we have three plus two five so five plus seven plus seven plus seven because I actually put three rows okay so we begin with five and then we go with seven 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 that's why I said if you need if you like want to work it longer you can just add seven more and so on seven per three it's 21 
plus 5 is 20 is 26 only <laughs> so I put 4 maybe I don't know because I, I, I've told you that we have we need 33 I don't know how 5 <laughs> uh, here we have 1 2 3 yes then we have 7 and I put let me just see here 1 2 3 yes it's 3 is 21 plus 5 is 26 sorry it's 26 yes it's 26 it's 21 plus 5 is 26 yes so uh, there are 26 if you uh, want more you will add 7 7 and so on okay for the sleeve we need these two halves here and then we put our um, squares there will be two squares for the sleeve and then we will put in length how many we need so uh, now I will show you exactly the cardigan so as you can see this is this is the beginning this is the upper part okay try to show you better um, yes now I can I can do it okay so this is it we have one in the middle and this is the front side uh, here on the side I wanted to show so here on the side we actually have this okay so as you can see it's folded here we cannot fold it we have to put two halves because it's the sleeve it must remain opened obvious and then I have the sleeve I tried to work the sleeve without decreases so in the even without decreases but um, as um, narrow as I can okay so like this if you work it like this it will be just perfect even for the wrist on the other side I haven't add yet the two halves so you will have something like this okay you can see it without the halves and with the halves squares okay so you will have something like this and now I will just join the two halves maybe like this is better now I put them like this yes and the other half here okay and from here I will add the sleeve it's it's really really easy okay I will finish it all and I will show it to you how it looks so you will have the complete image of it you will understand perfectly and then I will show you how to work the border so let's see how to work the border I will uh, begin on the left side corner bottom corner with the same color that I boarded all each uh, square it's better but you can choose to begin with one of the three color colors that you used so it's like this this is the first into the, in the middle into the third of our five here and now I will just go ahead one double crochet in each of our single crochet next row all around so I will go around the neck and then back on the le uh, this is the right side sorry uh, and then back on the right side uh, on the left side of my cardigan uh, front okay we are on the front so the border will put it only on the front so this is the first row the next row will be single crochet into each of your double crochet with the same color how to proceed where we are when we are in between two uh, squares so we work two we, we need we know we have five single crochets 
and into the third is the corner so five two here two here and this is the corner and into um, where we sew actually we go into the first and we go into the next so actually I I am working it like this and now I have two more on the other side and I just continue on okay this is just a, what I wanted to show you and uh, when you are uh, on the neckline I will show you how to proceed actually I will kind of decrease a little bit just let me be there because I have it's here actually so I am here I uh, finished with one side of the front side and this is how we will pass on the neckline so it's one and two and now this is a corner that I need to work it like this this is one and then I will try to work one more here this is two Okay, this is one I said. <laughs> oh, it's not easy. Okay, this is the second Put together. And now I will just go ahead and work one and two. Okay. Like this. So kind of make it a little bit more rounded. This is the idea. So you can Put, you can work two or three together here okay stitches. so from the second actually third row we begin with our um, border with our actually pattern for the border there are two rows of double crochets in between these two rows of double crochet will be one row of single crochet okay but the double crochet ro rows are let's say the pattern for this stitch so we will begin with a double crochet and then into the next we will begin with the pattern stitch around the double crochet we go and work a nice and long double crochet front post then into the next double uh, single crochet we double crochet normally now we skip we don't skip nothing we we don't skip anything uh, into the next double crochet we work a front post double crochet now into the next we work into the single crochet so this is the double crochet under the single crochet that we worked in so we go into the next now we work it nice and long like this one and this and now into the next here we work then we go into the next single crochet we work a double crochet like this so again here we work this double crochet we go into around the next and we work like this then over this double crochet is the single crochet the next single crochet where we work a double crochet so where we worked actually uh, a front post double crochet we must have a single crochet left unworked okay so it's here I don't work into the single crochet but around the double crochet of the previous row okay here I will work into the single crochet so just let me show you this is the single crochet uh, over the double crochet where I front post in and here is the single crochet where I just want to work my double crochet and again here it is my double crochet that I uh, front post in and then 
Okay, and then here it is a single crochet where I will just double crochet in. So, like this. And like this we go. And do a single crochet. If you are not sure, just watch. Watch the single crochet where it is. Now, as I said, it's the very first row that it's a little bit more difficult. Then will be really, really easy. So now I actually undo here. One, two show you. So I'm back here where I decreased and I want to put another decrease here I will work this on this one, two, three stitches. So I will just work this one like a front post but I don't want to finish it then normal double crochet and then skip this into the next work the front post and now I will just I will just lose them all <laughs> I will just pull through all and like this I decrease and I will decrease again here too on my these three stitches okay this is how to decrease when you work in pattern and the rest I will just continue on working my first row of the pattern don't forget to come back with the single crochet row. So the turning row is a single crochet row and then we will switch to the other color and we will work the second row of the pattern stitch. Okay, this is after we worked, I worked actually, uh, the first row of the pattern and the single crochet row. Now it is curling a little bit, but we will uh, fix it at the end. Isn't it lovely? Yes, it is. I love it. But now let's see. So for a border, I think it's just great. Not only for a border, but uh, let me show you how to work the the second row of the pattern stitch and then of course will be another single crochet and uh, we will just um, we will just repeat these two rows so uh, now where I work the um, stitch so the uh, front post double crochet I will just work a normal double crochet into the double crochet then here where I worked the normal double crochet I will go and work the long front post double crochet that's it that's all that is all now it's easier because it's obvious we can just see the stitches better and here it is and then single crochet and then we begin again with the first row of pattern uh, for the uh, width width this is more the width of the border obvious uh, that you need I will just go ahead and work this one and maybe one more okay so again where we work the front post now we go into the single crochet we work the double crochet when we work the double crochet we work the front post so we just change places kind of okay and it looks like this lovely 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 so actually i wanted to show you i finished all the border i worked with three colors three so with each color one row actually there are two because it's the single crochet row two and 
and at the end I put two rows of single crochets. Now, um, buttons hole, I just work them after, so I just chain and single crochet uh, just like that. And then I uh, sew here on the back side, so it's pretty easy, as you can see. Um, and then the buttons. So, what I want to tell you is that for this border will be will curl on the so will curl like this on the external part uh, both parts so you have to um iron it steam iron it okay with something uh, over and then if it doesn't um go flat you will just uh, put it with uh, some so just join together the two parts and leave it like this for some uh, days and will be just perfect. Okay, so that's it. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. Hope you enjoy my version of the granny cardigan. I know there are lots on YouTube, but this is my version and I must say I am very, very happy about it. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you like my tutorials. Don't forget to take a look on our uh, shop uh, shops actually uh, one is worldwide um, shipping one is only um, Europe some uh, Europe countries for now so um, but you can find in one boutique actually you can find all my patterns so you can just go ahead even if you cannot uh, purchase the yarn or you don't want to purchase the yarn finally you have all my uh, patterns in that um, so there is the, the category actually patterns and you can just uh, download your pdf so uh, it's really really easy okay so thank you for watching and see you the next tutorial bye, -bye.